Hey everybody, this is Jim, the Tabletop Engineer. Welcome to a new playthrough video. Today I am playing Call to Adventure, Epic Origins. I'm going to be playing Campaign Mode Chapter 3. I haven't opened this yet. Uh, I need to go ahead and pick out my heritage. So let's just shuffle these up. And I'll count down six. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's my heritage. I get one of those, and then I get two of these to pick from. Oh, you know what? Hold on. I'm supposed to open this because there might be cards in here. Uh, there is an Ascended Deity, which is... Um, I think that's a duplicate. I think I already have that one in here. Maybe not. Let me see. Nope, I do not. So I'm going to take that one uh, instead of... I'm going to take what they give me here. So this one... Oh, look. A Celestial. I'm going to take that for this. And then I'll draw randomly for these two. Here's the adversary. Oh, there's something else in there. Okay, there is a, there's a card and an objective card. All right, so let's shuffle these up. And I'll count down six and draw two. All right, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two. All right, those are those. And let's shuffle these up. I really do like the random nature of this. I don't know if they'll... I don't know if it will actually blend with this celestial heritage and ascended deity, but we'll see. All right, set six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two. Let's see what we got. Uh, for the background, I've got amnesiac or artist. Uh, let's do artist. That sounds interesting. Celestial artist. And for these two, which is my class, I've got Fighter and Barbarian. Well, neither one of those really matter, but I think I'll do Fighter. All right, so I've selected the two. Uh, I need to shuffle the Act 1. Sorry, I've got the wrong cards here. Act 1 cards. These will be... Uh, the four cards that I can choose traits or challenges from. By the way, if you haven't watched my previous videos, you probably should go back and watch those because I won't be really going over the rules much here. Uh, I might explain my thinking, but I, I won't be going deep into the rules. Okay, so the adversary is called the fallen angel, and the flip side is the false god. So once again, we're doing uh, reign of the adversary, which is the um, quest card here. And I don't have any more quest cards. I... I, I only can't got one with the box, so I'm assuming that that's the one I'm supposed to use. Uh, I, I, I'll shuffle up these cards a little bit. These are the um, adversary deck that will be drawn if I roll that black and white symbol. Uh, that one right there. Okay, got my three. This is starts on two. Let's read the background here. Chapter 3, Crisis of Faith. After the seismic fall of the beast, that's the one I beat last time, and the countless deaths during its rampage, the world's faith has been shaken. In dark alleys and open marketplaces, self-proclaimed prophets preach the gospel of a new god. Desperate people begin praying to this strange entity from another plane of existence. When this usurper god calls forth an angel with the power to smite all unbelievers, it's clear that the time has come to fight back. Perhaps you serve one of the old gods, or you've been blessed with celestial blood. Whatever your faith, you must face this false god and cut off or claim its power. All right, I did the setup. Uh, beginning of the game, okay. Uh, outcome, whether you succeed or fail, open the next envelope. If you fail to defeat the false god, confront it once more in a future play session, but your next session should be against the old one. Okay. Uh, so the starting fallen adversary begins with five. One, two, three, four, five. I begin with three XP. And since I'm the artist, I get this symbol and the wand. Ooh, that's a new one. I haven't played the wand yet. Okay, so I've got these two starting. All right, let's look. The fallen angel, the only one I can beat him with is swords. So I really need to be trying to get swords and this green symbol. Um, none of these help me. So I'll tell you what I'm going to do. Um, oh, I get a card. Uh, let's go ahead and shuffle these up. You, uh, you always start with one hero card. Um, you cannot start with an anti-hero card. You have to start, the rules say you start with one of the hero cards here. I got Meta Magic. Choose a hero attempting a challenge. 
for every light or dark hero or anti-hero that has been played this turn, they gain plus one to the attempt. Well, that means I better be playing cards quite a bit. Okay, those are shuffled. Uh, let's see. Each time you gain a dark or a light, gain an experience. So moving up or down. Uh, at the end of the game, you gain one point for each of those two symbols, which match up to uh, the fallen angel. And one for each star in your story. Okay. All right. We're good. Let's go ahead and draw the four. Let's see. Um, need to make sure everything can... Let me scoot everything down just a little bit so y'all can see. I'm trying to get everything lined up on the thing. Okay. Uh, one, two, three, and four. All right. We'll just... Do it that way. Sorry for the glare. Not much I can do about it. Um, these cards are very glossy. All right, so I've got lowborn trait, uh, which I've got a trait, a trait, and a trait, and one challenge. Now the challenge is going to get me wand, which I don't care about, but it does take swords to fight it, and it gives me a sword if I do the hard version. Um, this one gives me a green symbol, which is going to be useful against the the adversary. And it says, when you, gain, when you gain this, gain an XP if you have at least one wand, which I do. So I'm going to take this, and I'm going to put it under my artist. And I gain an XP for that. And I'm going to go ahead and put two on this X on my fighter to level him up. He's now a level two or whatever, and he's plus one to all sword attempts. If I can put four on here, I'll get plus one on that other symbol, which really doesn't matter. That's not going to help me. All right. Um, I didn't fail a challenge, so no XP. Let me just flip another one. Now I've got another trait. Uh, this one does not help me. This one really doesn't help me. That one doesn't help me. Uh, well, I guess I'll do the hard one. All right, this is a three difficulty, but I'm going to do the hard version, which is plus one, so it's four. It's called Become a Mercenary. It will give me a sword if I succeed. So I get to roll swords and wands. Well, unfortunately, I only have a wand. Um, I don't want to use black. I don't want to use any of the dark dice or dark runes. I just... I don't want to move down this way. I want to be able to, well, I guess I could. But he's going to gain XP. When any, uh, when any hero fails a challenge, he gets XP. When a hero adds a diamond to their story, he gets XP. I didn't add a diamond yet. Don't think I did. No. All right, and this one also says, when a hero adds a white diamond path, they lose XP. So adding a white diamond would be good. But that's a black diamond, which means he's going to gain XP. Ah, oh, man. And if I journey, uh, when an air fails, uh, it doesn't look like, oh, when I journey, that doesn't do anything. So I can journey for free. Okay. Could do that just to get rid of a card. Um, usually when you journey, uh, it tells you to add an XP um, to the, or, uh, you know, add one XP to the bad guy, but this one does not. So I can journey for free? I think so. But that means you could just keep journeying and journeying and journeying and replace cards until you get stuff you want. That doesn't really make sense, but, but that is the rules. I don't, I won't journey this turn. I'm going to do the, I'm going to do this one. Uh, I need a four and I'm rolling four runes. You know what? I am going to spend an XP to get a dark rune. I only got three. I failed it. All right. Well, this comes, uh, you know what? I didn't roll the moon, so this doesn't drop. Uh, I, did, I did fail it. So when you fail a non-adversary challenge, he gets an XP. So he's up to six. Ooh. Uh, wow. Okay. So this goes back. This goes back, and I failed a challenge. Um, let's. I really need to get a card. When you gain this, gain a card. All right, you know what? I will take this highborn, which gives me two diamond. 
when a hero adds a diamond path to their story, minus one. So this goes away. And it says, when you gain this, gain a card. Then, I got the teamwork. You may give yourself a dark to gain one of these. Let's do that. I'm going to come down just a little bit and put this under here. And so I get one of the dark, or one of the anti-hero cards. I got critical hit. Play this before... Uh, when a hero adds, oh, that's that's a path, not a card. Okay. When the hero attempts a challenge for each X XP they spend, add plus one. Okay, these are good. Um, choosing a hero, attempting this, this, or this. If it is your turn, gate plus. If it's another turn. Hmm. I have to hold on to that. Okay, let's replace it. I got educated, which is another trait, and it's another symbol I don't need. This is really getting, let's try this one again. I'll um, I'll spend my last XP to get a dark rune. I need four. You know what? Hold on. Uh, play this before here for each XP. Oh, I can't spend XP. Ah, uh, shoot. Um, she's a hero for every. And if I do teamwork, which I hate to give up right now, she's a hero. If it is your turn, gain plus one. If I burn this card, I'll get plus one. I don't want to use that yet. Um, actually, yes, I do. I will burn this card uh, to gain plus one, and I spend an XP to gain this. So now, I'm, now I've got plus one to whatever I roll here. I got one, two, three, four with a plus one, which means I do get this. I get a sword, and this is my third card under here. So we're moving on to Act Two, and. Um, I rolled this symbol, and it says gain a, a light or dark, or choose one hero with dark to gain. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to move this up. No, uh, hmm. No, I want a card. I'll, I'll gain this. I got a magic wand. Play this as any hero attempts a wand or scroll, add plus two. Okay. And then it doesn't matter. I don't replace this. Act one goes away. We get Act 2 out. Now, um, this is interesting. I've not, usually I'm a little, I don't feel as uh, weak with my character as I do with others that I've played. But man, this guy is, I just don't have a lot of those symbols. Um, all right, so let's do four. One, two, I got a trait, a challenge, a trait. And a challenge. All right. Okay. This one gives me a sword. This one gives me the green symbol, which I need, which is awesome because I need I need those uh, to fight the fallen angel. So let's go ahead and take this. When you gain this, choose one. All players gain a sun. All players gain a dark. I'll move up. I'll move up. And this goes under here. And this goes back. And let's see, I replace it. Um, <laughs> that's a symbol I need. No, yeah, no, no, yeah, this one, no, and no, okay. Um, let me think, what am I gonna do here? Uh, <coughs> well, Hold on, I haven't been doing this. This get, this adds that symbol. This adds another one. So if I can do this one, I'll, I'll get the third rune in this series, which is a good thing. So I will take this one. I get uh, one diamond point and one of these, which I get the final one here. So, uh, so here's the deal. Uh, when a hero adds a diamond to their story, which I just did, they lose an XP. All right, that's good. Um, replace this. I only need one more card to finish out Act Two, so I got to think about this. If I if I go for the magic wand, it isn't going to help me. But it says when you gain this, gain XP if you added this or this to your last turn, which I did. So I would get an XP. That's not really all that helpful. This symbol is not all that helpful. This one is. This gives me another sword and a dark card. I am going to take this one. 
I haven't been doing a lot of challenges. This one gives me another sword. So I have one. I get one sword and I get another sword. Okay, so I've got two swords. I got the full range there, one, one. So I'm just gonna double check. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yes, I have seven runes, seven symbols. All right. All right, that is the end of act two. These go away. And now, <laughs> before we go on to act three, I have to face the fallen angel. Now the fallen angel has a difficulty of six and then four XP. If I roll successes equal to six, one XP comes off. And then for each, each uh, additional point over six, I remove another XP. So um, I need to roll a six, seven, eight, nine. I need to roll a nine to get rid of all of them. So I start with the three. I get all of these. And I get my two swords, which is a pretty good, pretty good. I got eight runes, and I got to get six. Now, I could go for a dark rune to give me two more successes, which I think I'm going to do. I'm going to, oh, I can't because I don't have any XP. <laughs> oh, I, don't, I cannot add runes because I don't have XP. All right. I've already applied. Oh, you know what? I keep forgetting that I've got plus one with this. So... I have another sword on there, which I don't know if I missed that earlier or not. I probably did, but that's okay. All right, so I'm plus one, and I'm going to go ahead and play. I'm going to hold on to that. Is this uh, play this when I attempt? No, not doing that. Choose a hero attempting a challenge. This is not a, okay. This does count for every blank that's been played. They gain plus one. I, I'm going to. I'm just going to try it. I'm going to go ahead and roll them and hope for six, but I'm also hoping for higher than six. All right, I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and I rolled this, which means I have to draw a, an adversary card. You know what, I rolled that the last time and I forgot, but I know I beat it by more than one, so this goes away, and this will be this card, False Vision. Reveal this as a hero attempts a challenge. Unless they have three diamonds, the adversary gains one. Do I have three diamonds? I got one, two. I've got one, two. I've only got two. So they gain another XP. But that's okay because, I, like I said, I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, which is not quite. No, this, is, this counts as three. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I took care of all of the XP. We flip this over. And by the way, I forgot. I get plus two if you have more diamonds than dark, which I do. But So I would have easily beat him. All right. So now the final adversary has a difficulty of eight. So let's put these back. And we have to go through act three. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. What did I? I got seven. There we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yep. All right, here we go. Last one. Um, that one goes away. Reveal four. One, two. Oops, these are upside down. Flip this around. One, two, three, and four. Check out the new RPG and Wargame newsletter. Each week, the tabletop engineer shares news, products, Kickstarters, and much more related to the gaming hobby. It's free to subscribe, so check out the link in the video description below to sign up. Okay. Um, all right, let's see. This one, only that symbol. Sword, none of these help me. None of them. So, when you gain this, if you have at least three diamonds, you gain two XP. I don't. And, but if I do the hard one here, which is seven, I get that symbol which I don't need because I already have the maximum three runes. But I do need the, the final sword room, so I'm just going to take this. When you gain it, if you have at least three diamonds, I only have two, but that's okay. I will put this here, um, and I reveal another one. I get the last sword, which is excellent, 
and it's time to start playing some cards here uh, because this one is going to give me a plus one for every card that I've been, for every card that's been played. They gain plus oh this turn. So uh, this turn is this is not a turn. A turn is every time you do a, a card. Well, no, I guess this is a turn. I can't remember. Um, all right. No. Yes. Actually, this won't help me because. Uh, the sword. I already have the max. So is there anything else I can do? All right, so I, did I add a diamond? I added a... No, I did not add a diamond. I didn't add a black diamond, and I didn't add a, a, a silver diamond. So I didn't fail a challenge. I didn't roll that. When you were facing... Okay, so let's keep going. All right, this one's not going to help me. That one's not going to help me. Although that one does get me a dark card. I think I'm ready to face the adversary, but I still got to go through with this. So let's do when you gain this. If you've played at least two darks this game, gain two. If you have two, sorry, yeah. Okay, so that doesn't help me. So I've got three challenges and one trait. So I, let's go ahead and do a trait just to get out of this, try to, try to get to the end game. And let's see, it's uh, this symbol that symbol and a mountain symbol. Okay, all right, those aren't gonna help me, but they do give me more runes. And uh, some cards, some of the, these cards will say if you have like more than four types of runes, you get bonuses. All right, so let's replace this. I only need one more card to seal this and that won't help. <laughs> this one will help, but it's possible I might fail it, but it's the only one I can do. None of these are going to help. This is the only one that can help me. I mean, I could get another, I could do this one, but if I fail it, he gets an XP. I'd rather fail this one and get the XP. So I will do this one. It's, I'm going to do the hard version, so it's a seven. I get my three starters, I get all three of these, and I get all three of my swords. And I think that's, I'm just going to roll and take my chances here. I need seven. And uh, because I'm using swords, I get two, I've got plus one. So I got plus one to whatever I roll here. Oh yeah, I did it. One, two, three. These count double. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. I, I did it, yeah, <laughs> Pl plenty did it. So I got another set of stars, and I also got uh, the green symbol, which I don't really care about. Um, actually, that crown matches up to that crown, so I'm going to get some extra points there. All right, that is the third and final, so these go away. And it is time to face the adversary. He has a difficulty of eight. When you add a diamond, which I just did, he loses an XP, but he doesn't have any on him. Uh, I didn't fail a challenge. I didn't roll the double-sided, so here we go. So I roll the three basics. I roll all three of these, and I roll the swords, just like, and I need an eight or higher. So here's where I'm gonna play the cards. Uh, I can't play this one because I don't have any XP. Choose a hero attempting a challenge. For every white or dark they play, they gain plus one. So I did play a, a white, a light card. So I'm plus one, and I get plus one for my sword. So I'm at plus two, and this doesn't help me at all. So plus two, I'll just go ahead and send these away. Send this away. I'm at plus two. Let's roll them and hope that I get a six or higher, which I think I can do. Yeah, I did. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 12, 13, 14, 15. Plenty to knock him out of the water. All right, uh, score I'm not really concerned about, but just so you know, I got, um, I got two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, uh, eight, and then I got two for that, which is nine, 10, I forget how you do the XP. I'm not really super concerned about it, but um, there you go. All right, a um, couple things. So far, so far, I don't know. This game has been not what I would call exceedingly difficult. 
Um, I, I don't know if I'm doing something wrong. I don't think I am. I've read the rules plenty of times. I'm, I'm playing it as the, as the cards say. Uh, I'm going for what I know ultimately I'm going to have to use to fight the boss. And um, it's just interesting. That one was not all that hard. So anyway, all right, well, I'm going to stop there. Uh, this is Jim, the Tabletop Engineer. Thanks for joining me as I played through another game of Call to Adventure, Epic Origins. I'll be back again soon with Chapter 4, which I think was called what? Cosmic Horror. I hope this has something to do with Cthulhu. Probably not. Um, but anyway, I'll be back again soon with another game. Until then, everybody, take care.